Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to show you my next project that I will be working on. I have two actually that I'll be working on of this size. They are both from craftsyart.com. So this one's a 30 by 30. It's a kind of like a mandala cat. I absolutely love this. I thought it was quite different. So I'll give that a go and see how we go with that. So this one here has 12 colors and it's 30 by 30 so it'll be design size probably about 25 by 25. There's my little drill so I'll get them out of the way. And we'll zoom in and have a look at that drill field. Guy. So nice and easy to see. The symbols are really good too actually. It's so bright and colorful. I reckon it's awesome. Very, very cute. It's got quite a few different kinds of drills in this one. I like that. It's got your normal rhinestones. It's got some teardrops, some marquees, that sort of thing. But I, I think the colors are just really pretty. I love how it's on that dark background as well. So I'll bring you over and you can have a look at the symbol key. There you go, 12 colors. I don't think there'll be any issues trying to work out what's what. So it's beautiful, beautiful and clear. Absolutely love it. So I'll zoom you back out again. Okay. So there's my kitty cat and the have a bit of a sticky feel. So it's actually really, really sticky. So I'll turn her over. And I'll show you these drills. So I've already kitted them up. But have a look at those colors. Very rainbowy. Really, really pretty. So this one here, you've got just your normal crystal rhinestones. Not too bad. I was just checking out the backs of them just before the silver backs. And um, they're pretty good. There's just one color, I think, that had a little bit more than the others of scratches. This one here, you got a couple of your normal rhinestones, and then you've got these teeny, teeny, tiny teardrops. And then you've got some of the, oh yeah, they're um, sort of like a champagne color teardrop. And last but not least, got some more teardrops, some marquees, some bigger rounds, and you got some beautiful gold stars. And I just kid up in these little handy containers they come in lots of four and your tray or your container sorry holds 28 so I actually use these a lot but there's your colors there so that's gonna be really really pretty pop him over there flip him back over again and I'll show you the next one I'm going to work on all right get him out of there so, doing a mandala, this one's a blue mandala, again from craftsyart.com. So this one here has seven colors on your symbol key, but we'll get to that in a minute because there's a bit of an issue with the drills as opposed to the symbol key. So, but anyway, we'll get into that drill field and you can have a bit of a look. This is a 30 by 30 as well, so your design will be about 25 by 25, zooming in. Again, really nice canvases, really easy to see your symbols, nice and clear. There's no second guessing on this. I like that background too. I love that. love the coloring in the background. So quite pretty. That's going to be nice and shiny when I'm done with that one. Really pretty. So here is your symbol key, there it is. Okay, so your symbol key says seven. There's actually eight. I couldn't work out what in the heck was going on when I was trying to um, do an inventory. Whenever I get uh, any, any diamond paintings, I always check the canvas to make sure that it is okay and there's nothing stuck with the glue or anything funny like that. 
and I also checked the inventory of the drills to make sure that I got the right number of drills that corresponds with your symbol key because sometimes, not often, but sometimes you can get some discrepancies. So anyway, I'll zoom you back out again. So zoom you back out again. Okay, so I'll do a sticky test. Oops. And that one's really sticky as well. And the canvas is nice too with both of them. They were fairly smooshed in the mail, but it actually flattened out really easily. I just put it under a book and that was it. So flattened out really good. Now your drills. Drills, where's the drills? Flip this over for the time being. So there's your drills. So I'll show you them up close and then I'll get into what the issue is. So we have some really, really pretty blues in this and some greens. I absolutely love these colors and they got beautiful shine. Got your AB on your purples. Got some really pretty crystal rhinestones. We have some crystal teardrops and some really pretty blue and yellow and green rounds got some lovely pink teardrops and two packets of these um, sort of dagger type marquees so that's eight colors and the symbol key only has seven so i've gone through flip her back over again I've gone through and tried to work out what the difference was. So I went number one, one is that one, number two, two, that's that one. And then when you get to number six, so these guys here are missing off the symbol key. So in your packet it'll say six, but six clearly shows a teardrop. So I'll zoom you in. There's your symbol key. So six shows a teardrop. So if you actually have a look at these symbols here, there is no symbol for the large rounds. So I've double checked. Yes, we've got the long marquees. Yes, we've got two lots of teardrops, but we're missing those rounds. And those rounds go right there. That symbol there is missing off the key. So look, it, it was easy to work out. So where are we? Wow, that's a really big hand. Yep, so they go there. So all I had to do then was try to work out the symbols for your, where are we? For these two, so basically because the numbers are all messed up because number six clearly shows a teardrop and it's not. So number five is correct, which is your clears. And number six, I'll zoom you out, in, out. So I've just gone along the numbers. So it's basically these guys here, these pink teardrops are actually color number six. So easy enough to work out, but it threw me and it took me ages to work out what in blazes was going on. Um, but Craftsy Art have been notified about this issue and um, apparently they were getting on top of it and fixing that up so but I can continue on and um, and finish this one up so but yeah that's why it, it always pays to do an inventory as soon as you get them because if you have any issues you need to get onto it right away because if you let time go by obviously it's harder to chase that up and to get the problem rectified so anyway that was a bit different i haven't had that happen before so there you go so I'll bring my cat so i'll be working on those two and i will be doing works in progress right through to the finished product and show you how they look right through to framed so um yeah so join me and we'll um we'll see how these guys turn out
Okay, we're all done. Super duper happy with these two diamond paintings. This cat one turned out absolutely beautifully. I love the colors. I love how they're all placed. I love the different types of drills. I just love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I could have kept going on and on with this one because um, it was just so much fun to do. And the, the glue and the drills were really good and um, symbols were so easy to see. It was just, it was good fun to do. So I'll zoom you in so you can have a look. Zooming in. I just love it. I love the patterns and the colors, like the, the necklace. It just looks so pretty. And the drills are, they're, they're very pretty. They're a good quality. It was fun to do, you know, you just sort of get absorbed into it and before you know it, you've almost finished it. So I love this. This came up really nice. I just love his face. Gorgeous. Zooming you back out again. So I'll just flip her over and I'll show you the drills. <laughs> Alright, that's what happens when a lid doesn't go on properly. Which one was it? Yellow. Oops. Anyway, easy clean. So the drills, leftover drills, there's actually a lot. I didn't really have any reject ones much to speak of. I guess the star ones, not all of them were perfect. That's about all I could say negatively about that. They gave you heaps left over. There's your crystal rhinestones. Quite a few left over. Lots of those little tiny teardrops. That's quite a lot left over. And they were good, like I didn't have much scratching on the back or anything like that, so that's an absolute bonus. So I'll move all that over there. More drills. So that's my cat. Love this one. Absolutely love it. Fantastic. On to the next one. So the blue mandala. This one just turned out stunning. The drills, oh my gosh, the drills are probably the nicest drills I have come across in a special drill diamond painting yet. It, they're just spectacular. This one, it didn't take me long to do because I just like, I couldn't wait to get it finished. I love everything about it. The glue, the drills, the canvas. I love this background. I love that effect. I think it's really cool. So I'll bring you in. You can have a look. Here we go. So even though I haven't got very good lighting today, you can see that um, the sparkle, just the way it moves that light around is just stunning. So very little in fact, I don't think I had hardly any reject drills on this one. For a special drill, that's um, pretty impressive. But I just love the colors. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. I didn't have to change anything. That was a nice change. But, oh, gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And that just sparkle. So pretty. So I'll zoom you back out again, zooming out, so you can just see like with the shine, so pretty. Okay, so the drills, make sure I don't dump any of these ones. The only problem with these little ones, little cases, is that sometimes the lid doesn't go on properly and you find out in a hurry which one it is. So anyway, I had quite a few leftover drills. There's your normal rhinestones. 
your special drills. So there's heaps left over, especially those daggers. Oh, I can't open it now. Those big daggers. There's heaps left over. But gosh, that's shine. Very pretty drill, that one. Um, and the others, lots left over. Lots and lots. But the color of some of these drills are just absolutely stunning. These clear crystal rhinestones, I'll just, I don't know if I can capture it, but they have like the prettiest AB shine on them. They're just, gosh, they're absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you can see that. They're just, they've got pinks and greens and blues and it's just so pretty. Really impressive, that one. And the other um, other ones as well, like the aquamarine and the light green, they're really, really pretty as well. There's that one there. Just gorgeous. Really, really pretty drills. Best ones I've seen on a, a special drill done in painting. So there you go. There's my mandala that's definitely going in a frame and up on the wall. Same with the cat. I'm going to frame them both. So uh, keep watching to see a picture of those framed and finished at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love doing these ones. Really, really happy with the quality and... Um, yeah oh gorgeous so thank you so much for watching my video and um, i will catch you next time bye